So I'm really excited because during the next year, people are gonna get to know the Paul that I know. They're gonna see someone who's absolutely capable of solving our most complex problems. They're gonna see someone who's tough and who is going to be able to stand up to the Republicans. They're gonna see somebody who empowers people all across the state to become part of the process, to become part of how we make Minnesota great. And they're gonna see somebody who is really strategic and who thinks not just about today, but about what's facing Minnesota on the horizon. People who have gone to school with him or who have worked with him are always telling me that he's the smartest person that they've ever worked with. And yes, I get a little sick of hearing that. But I mean, I do agree. He's never shied away from the most complex of schoolwork or legislative work or legal work. I have seen him with the health care budget. It dwarfs the budget for, like, say, the city of Minneapolis. I've seen him sit with it and figure out how it is he's going to cover 40,000 more kids because 40,000 more kids need, need health care and there wasn't a dollar more to spend on it. People really over, over and over again have said that they've never seen a politician who is such a good listener. And I think that's a great compliment. So Paul is definitely not a career politician. Paul was extremely happy with his law practice. He was very successful. He was doing a lot of community service and that was always really important. It sort of came out of the blue that he said, you know, I think I'm gonna run for that legislative seat. And I remember being sort of surprised because he had never talked about it before, but I thought, well, this sort of makes sense. He's a great advocate and it's public service. So it sort of fits those two pieces of him together pretty well. There was a, an incumbent at the time, but we got all of our friends together and launched a true blue grassroots campaign with a bunch of people who had never done politics before, and we won, to the surprise of everybody. And that was the beginning. One thing I love about Paul is that he's an incredibly loyal friend. He has this group of friends here in Minnesota that he's been friends with since literally he was four or five years old. Same group of guys and they've been together forever, through thick and through thin, but really it's that kind of friendship um, that's very indicative of the kind of person that he is. In law school, Paul was much more soft-spoken than he is today. He was always the stealth student who would all of a sudden, without any bragging whatsoever, miraculously appear on the top of the honor rolls. He was always the dark horse, but he kept really achieving pretty notable things nonetheless.